Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map released for Farming Simulator 19. So, this is Klein Silheim 2K21 by Richie F and Flo 1983. It's 159.68 megabytes to download. There is two required mods for this map, which is the BGA 300KW by Caster and LSMC, and the Composite Machine Sheds by Vertex Design. Now they will automatically download when you download this map. So that's one thing to point out. Also we did have a Klein Silheim back in January which I did a map tour on. And that was by Spezzy 2.0 Modding. Um, that's no longer on the Mod Hub. So I'm guessing these guys took it over and sort of revamped it. And made it into a sort of better version because... I did find a couple of issues with the original one, but this is the one we have now. So in the description there it says, let's go to Klein Silheim, small place with idyllic courtyards where a lot of work awaits in the single player, but you can also have fun in the multiplayer. The map is not very big, but there is a lot to discover. All FS19 standards are installed except for the train. In the game you can draw bushes and decorative grass, snow mask drawn for seasons the card offers three courtyards main courtyard owned with cows yard two with pigs farm three with sheep and chickens one cow shed 26 fields seven meadows seven cell outlets forests for forest work and a bga multi-fruit silo in the main courtyard silo for grain root crops and straw at the pig farm a beautiful landscape is waiting to be discovered by you. So let's go and check it out. And here we are. This is where we start off. This is the map. Not very big at all as you can see. Now I do like this. It's a lovely little map. Um, I'm in new farmer mode. So in new farmer mode we start off owning all of this and what I'll do so we start off owning sort of outside of the map so if I click on that you'll be able to see a little bit easier of what we actually start off with in the green one thing to point out though the outside of the map which obviously we do start off owning if you were to sell that you could get 17 and a half million for it so <laughs> that's one way of getting some easy money but in new farmer mode, we start off with this area here, which is your main farm. It's also got your sleep trigger on there. We start off with field 14, 16. We've got a meadow here, which is a grass area. And it's got a little bit of water there. And we start off with this sort of courtyard area, which has got a church in, which we will check out in a second. So there you go. You can see the meadow a little better with the water in there. Um, so on our main farm we've got a farm silo, we've got a cow pasture and all of our equipment. We've got various cell points dotted around the map. We've got another cow pasture down here. You do have to own this one to be able to use it. But all the other animal pens that are on the map. So we've got sheep here and we've got chickens there. We've also got a pig farm up here. We have got them in our garage, so you can use them. You can put the animals in there. You don't have to um, sort of own this area like there. So it's worth 27000 for the sheep and the chickens. This cow pasture down here is 76000 to buy. And the pig farm is 52000 to buy. And the field prices vary, as you can imagine. 147 for field one, number eight's 59,000, 24's 147. We've got some forestry areas like here, but they all come together, which is pretty handy. But that is 314,000 to buy, and there's a tiny little bit here, but that comes with field nine, that's 152,000 to buy. 
There is a BGA on here, and that is 69,880 to buy. Now, obviously, that BGA and the composite machine sheds is the two required mods, so you must have them selected before you load this map up, otherwise, they will not appear. So, you will have nothing here if you do that, and the composite sheds are here and here. Obviously, if you don't select them, they will not be there. As in terms of our stuff that we start off with, it is all separate. So field 16 is only 45,000 to buy. This grass field is 87, 14.75, and our main farm's 89, and this area here is 20,000. Now my advice, we'll look at that, but my advice, if you're in new farmer mode, probably sell that because I can't see the point really in owning that. There's not really a lot of room over there and there's a church there, but we'll check it out in a second. So like I say, this is our main farm. What we'll do is we'll go through our equipment and slot counts in all three modes and then we'll have a wander around. So in new farmer mode, I'm right at the end because I was messing around earlier. In new farmer mode, it's 703 slots out of 1299. If you were to sell everything off, you can get that down to 427 slots. So in new farmer mode, we get a Fent 310 Vario, a John Deere 6230R, John Deere 6135M, the Russell Mash. 330 Harvester, Agriliner HKD302 Trailer, we've got the Header for your Harvester, a Plow, Cultivator, a Seeder, a Sprayer, a Mower, Tedder, a Windrower, Loading Wagon, a Baler, a Trailer for your Header, we've got a Weight, we've got a John Deere Weight, and we've got the Large Pig Enclosure, that will hold 300. You got sheep pasture that will hold 80, chicken coop holds 100, and then we've got a small silo multi fruit that will take all your standard crops plus pig food, potatoes, sugar beets, hay, grass, straw, chaff, silage, and TMR. So it won't take absolutely everything, but it does pretty much. And we've got a small silo multi, multi fruit which will only take. Um, potato, sugar beet, pig food and straw as well as your standard crops so the one at our main farm is 500,000 litres and this smaller one's 100,000 litres um, we've got our machine sheds the composite machine sheds vehicle workshop there's four water stations they're dotted around the map which we'll come across in a second and we've got our sleep trigger like so now in the other two modes, farm managers start from scratch. You don't start off with obviously any land and you don't get any machinery. So your tractors, trailers, whatnot. And it starts from the animal pens. So from the pig enclosure, you own all this. And the slot count for that mode, or those two modes, sorry, will be 503. So again, if you sell everything off, you can get it down to 427 again. So in Farm Manager, start from scratch. You own this to start with. Pig enclosure, sheep pasture, chicken coop, silos, your machine sheds, the vehicle workshop, the water stations, and your sleep trigger. You just don't get any of the tractors, trailers, whatnot. Modded in things. All we've got is in animal pens, we have the large pig enclosure, the cow pasture, which is the one down the bottom of the map that we don't own, that will hold a hundred, and the chicken coop, because the sheep pen, as you can see, we already own that, it's got one by the garage there, it's the standard in-game small sheep pasture. Placeables, we have the BGA, which was one of the required mods and the water station uh, there's nothing in decoration silos we've got those two silos as you can imagine there you go sheds we've got our machine sheds and then in, in farmhouse we got our sleep trigger so that is all the required mods 
just check I haven't missed anything there's no custom crops on here that's all standard in terms of that there is contracts available as well right so let's have a look let's open this gate a second because outside on the road this is our sleep trigger just there right outside our door I'm not tired and then I'll quickly just show you across the road in the meadow area that we own this is one of the water stations this is what they look like so that's what they are like back into our main farmyard area we've got some shed space there with some of our equipment this is our silo so tip in pipe out just there more shed space with more of our equipment the easier composite composite excuse me <laughs> machine sheds be careful saying that I absolutely love these sheds by the way so that's a great touch putting these in these all open up they've all got lights in and you can get them in different sizes which is pretty cool another one just there we've got another small shed just there this is our cow pasture or barn if you want to call it there's our workshop with the trigger just there let's go around we'll have a look at the cow pasture obviously manure there your dialogue box is this bigger outer one just there like so and this will hold 200 cows your straw trigger is just there you can open up this door and that door your water trough is just here quite tight getting in here through this door here they will appear out in this field and they do come through into here as well this is a drive through one as you can see and this is going to be where your feed is and then if you come out the end round the back we've got our slurry just there and then we've got our milk just there like so I think that is pretty much it for the yard area what we'll do is we'll grab a tractor this one will do and we'll head on out round the map we have got another gate there going out of our farm and we've also got another one just there so you've got a little bit of sort of a placeable area just across the road from us not huge which we do own sorry I can't speak today right so if we head out as you can see it is going to be very tight but you're not going to be using huge machinery on this map very nice looking though all the villages and people walking about but this tractor does look absolutely huge on this map so this is our shop area I'll run out these gates you do have to open they're not timed so you've got your workshop trigger just there and the icon and your shop menu just there or your shop go down there excuse me and then just coming up on here we've got two cell points so we've got barn which is just there to our right which is going to be for your bells and your loose straw or whatnot and we've got a cell point which is going to be one of your main cell points just in front of us so we came out of our main farm across here up to the shop across there and you've got the grain mill and barn oh I'll show you that church actually so 
barn is there as you can see it's just going to do your silage grass hay straw etc grain meal standard crops plus potatoes sugar beets sugar cane eggs milk and that is it for that one like so so yeah just across the road this is the plot that we own but there's a church bang in the middle of it and really all you've got is this sort of area here with the trees so it's not really a lot you can do with that area in my eyes so it might be worth selling that off and getting yourself 20 grand anyway we'll come out of here we'll come back down and we'll come down to this cell point just there It's a nice little map though if you're into your small machineries and tight little yards and whatnot. Like I say this tractor does look fairly huge on here you might want to go down to just um, small tractors but this is Ledley which is another sell point I think this just takes milk and eggs just there so there we are Ledley scroll along just milk eggs and that is it yep and then we'll come back out and we'll come across there animal dealer is next There is traffic on here as well as you can see which is going to make it even more trickier navigating around so just here is your animal dealer as you can see loads of little houses dotted around so obviously you can sell your sleep trigger and you can start wherever you want in any of the other farms or these houses. Just there's a fuel station, gas station. And in here we've got another main cell point, which is Agroma. Just towards the top, does your standard crops, plus potatoes, sugar beet, cotton, sugar cane, and straw as well very random and then just behind we have a lime station which is just there there's a little bit of shed space just there if you wanted to store some more equipment here so now we'll go on up round to the chickens and sheep I've just missed that turn and it's there bit difficult with some of the trees coming out of the way right we'll stop here and we'll run around so this is the sheep pasture standard in-game small one as I said Your water trough just there feed trough just there your wall will spawn out here and then your dialogue box is just there and that, like I said earlier, will hold 80. This is your chicken coop. It's your dialogue box just there. This will hold 100 chickens. Feed trough is just there. And quite cool inside is where your eggs will appear, just there. So you've got a little bit of storage space here. If, like I said, if you wanted to start at this farm, have this as your farmhouse, place your sleep trigger down we've got the pillow we've got all sorts of doormats there's another door around the back there's a little bit of shed space just there as you can see so not too bad oh and there's another one of the water stations what i will say about those water stations is earlier when i was trying to sell everything off to see what the slot count went down to i had trouble selling these because when you go on one, I just could not get the sale trigger to come up. So I just, they're only one slot each, so I just obviously worked it out. 
so that is one little issue I found but I mean it's only going to be four slots so it's not going to break the bank if you left them in so we'll wait for this truck to go past and now we're going to head out to the BGA which is just down here I like all the little like sort of bits of water dotted around the map which is quite nice so again there's a gate here and we'll have to open that we'll turn that off and we'll run in so as your BGA just there you tip in cell point and your digestate pipe is just there with the markers around it there is no silage bunkers silage clamps here but you have got quite a bit of room down this end to place one if you wanted to a little bit of shed space there as well so not too bad um, we've got collisions on the hedges i didn't test that no we haven't which is pretty handy on small maps like this back out of here um, I've just realized I should have showed you that shouldn't I what I'll do is I'll carry on showing you round and we'll cut to that at the end because I was meant to go down there it's quite a nice um, unique cow pasture I like it just on the left I thought I'd miss that one then but I didn't what we'll do is we'll go in round to the sawmill first which is round the back here so you've got your timber lumber cell point just there with the icon and just in the background there you've got um, your wood chips again another little shed space there if you want to use that and then out here we have two cell points another main cell point just there on the left and then over there in the background we've got our spinnery so we have come out of the BGA and we came up here we did the sawmill so this is Ag Agra LB which is up the top which is again is another main cell point this also takes potato sugar beet cotton sugar cane and straw as well again and then your spinnery just in the background is obviously going to do your cotton and your wool like so so we'll now head on up to the pig farm so yeah it does look nice this map I quite like it they've done a good job on it it's pretty much the same sort of layout think um, where the pig farm is I'm pretty sure that was a field on the original one because I did have a quick look at my original video for it and it was shown as a field so as you can see you can see the shop just over there in the church so you can see it's not a huge map I'm going to turn up there bit of forestry area on the right there back there lovely windmill over there which isn't working which is a shame we'll pull over just here and again there's another gate we need to open and this is our pig farm so there's your other silo just there with your tip in and your pipe out just there that was a hundred thousand litre that one got a little bit of storage space there and again a farmhouse if you wanted to place the trigger there there's another door just there shed space and shed space your pig um, pen these are dry throughs 
as you can see so your slurry is going to be just there and your manure pit is just in here let's open these up so you can see some of the triggers oh that one dialogue box is just here this will hold 300 pigs you've got your feed trough just there this is your straw trigger and then your water trough is just there like so so that is all of that um, how far away I'll tell you what we might do we're not too far away let's just take a little trip down this side of the map and I'm not sure if that's a track just so you can see this side of the map and I'll go down to that cow pasture because that was my fault I should have showed you that when we did the um, Ledley cell point it does look like those yellow lines are tracks because there's one there on the map so it shouldn't take us too long being a small map and it gives you a chance to see this side as you can see not huge fields I need to concentrate on the road random little shed space there this is your forestry areas as you can see again not huge but it's not going to be should earn a little bit of extra income from that if you wanted to go down that road back past our farm there's our gate there another entrance and then if we go straight across another little shed down here on our left like so some logs laying around and then this is that little cow pasture which I do really like there's another water station just there your milk point was just there this cow pasture they will only produce milk there's no manure or slurry um, your feed trough is just there and your dialogue box is just here obviously we don't own it so it won't let me click on it and then out in the middle which I do like is your feed trough which I think is very cool that so that is it that is the whole of the map obviously not big but there you go I think I've covered everything just checking my notes I think I have so that is Klein Silheim 2k21 by Richie F and Flo 1983 so if you have all enjoyed the map tour please give us a thumbs up because that really helps especially with the old YouTube algorithm if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy stay frosty